upcoming term project is a Wi-Fi scanner and a location identification. The first module is a Wi-Fi scan application, which is an improvement of the default Android connection manager. For example, in a simple Android application, I will just try to detect all the Wi-Fi signals surroundings. I will just launch the settings, go and connect to all the Wi-Fi. And there you can you can see that uh, all the signals at least there is five different signals detected with the same five over five power indicator. So I don't know which one to choose. We will get a more accurate description. And here the application will straight tell me that this signal is the best. So just to conclude our Wi-Fi scan module, uh, the silent features is that you can select the Wi-Fi uh, connections based on RSSI values more accurately. Secondly, it gives you distinguished um, access points even if the SSID of those are the same. So this is one benefit. So Wi-Fi scan module gives the RSSI values, uh, MAC addresses and SSID values of each AP uh, in the range at the Wi-Fi scan module. And in future, we plan to extend this to change your Wi-Fi connection based on real-time RSSI values, which will give you, which will not make you wait for your connection to drop and then connect to the next one. Based on real RSSI values, it will make you, it will start the new connection with the next AP. So this is what our plan is. Press uh, location identification. It will identify where you are in this room, in this floor, uh, in which room and in which location. When we press where am I, it will take the signal strength from the surrounding AP. Uh, we divide this room into two positions. This part of the room is called cell 1. And that part of the room is called cell 2. Uh, this uh, cell is cell 1 in room 2 so based on the data uh, the location is found that this is cell 1 so if we go to the other side of the room so this is still room 2 but this should be cell number 2 we press uh, where am I now it says we are in cell 2 of room 2. So see the difference? Just now over there it was cell 1, so this one is cell 2. Okay, this, uh, this room is a little bit big, so we divided this room into 4 cells. So one here, one over there, one over there, and one over there. So if we are here, in this cell, so it should be room 1 so because that one is room 2 so if we press again this one we scan and there we can scroll down so it says you are in room 1 cell 4 make a connection to the server we press menu and then uh, connect server so it will go to this screen and then we can key in the IP address of the server. Okay, press connect. It will connect to the server. It will show uh, the current location that we are in room 2, cell 1. And then this information is sent to the server. The server get the information from the client. Disconnect server. server-side application enables us to store the data into files on the computer. So once we display the signal sent from the client on the server, we also store it in a special file, which will make us enable to exploit this data.